Let's talk about uh, Heath's match because, of course, uh, Collingwood and the West Coast Eagles meet, and there's plenty of attention going to be on both sides, uh, including injuries. And but the battle of the midfield is going to be crucial, and that was certainly the subject in Perth. And the comments made by Andrew Gaff in the WA Press saying that uh, he thinks, anyway, that the Eagles is right up to, to matching the midfield. And we know that Scott Penelope's not playing Heath, so uh, that probably makes the Eagles' job a little easier. But um, it's going to be a heck of a battle, isn't it? Yeah, mate. It's, um just looking at um, young Gaff there, he's, he reminds me of Beamsy and Sidebottom that we've mm. got, but he's sort Pretty of cool. sliding under the radar a little bit over in Perth. Um, I don't know what he's averaging, he'd be averaging over 25 a game. He sits high half forward and then suddenly he starts getting heap of the ball and you think, where's he playing? Yeah, exactly. Will, so, um, will the Collingwood more experienced players have a word to him about that? It's Maybe uh, sledging? I don't know, maybe. Never, you never know, but um, well, you, it's he's a definitely, good point, though, isn't it? He's definitely a really underrated player at the yeah. moment. Um, he's only been in the system for two and a half minutes, and he's slagging off the, uh, the <laughs> premiership of two years ago. How, yeah. how did that go down? Oh, that's all right, mate. We take it all on board, and hopefully on Saturday afternoon we can get the get the upper hand and and have a nice little word to him afterwards. Well, of course, when the Eagles play, there's always a bit of controversy, isn't there, about. Uh, What's going on with the umpires? And uh, Sarah Wellingham was asked about it on SEN Radio today. Uh, it's a tactic, and you know you've got to you've got to make make your way around it. And I think um, you might have to tackle a bit lower, and maybe uh, not worry so much about pinning the arms or whatever, and maybe just getting them to the ground. But you know, whatever tactic you take in, you're going to have to make your way around the fact that they might drop the knees or you know lift up the arms. What do you think, Robert? What do you think, Heath? No, well, no, no, what's your opinion? Um, yeah, well, it's, it's, it's hard. Um, if they're going leading with their head, you're going to give away a free kick sooner, sooner or later. Um, the plan is just to have the ball in your hands so you don't have to worry about yeah, it. Yeah, you do. But uh, unfortunately, this game, the opposition do get the ball in their hands, Gia. You're mature and, and ready to retire, so you can afford any <laughs> fine. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> about the Eagles or the allegations that they dropped their head. Do you think it's right or do you think it's bad for the game or are we just trying no, to make a story? I think good on them because, yeah. yep. you know, I think it's up to the other clubs to find a way to go lower and, and they probably get their arms clear and get the handball out, so it's a pretty good tactic. But until someone, you know, changes and gets the technique right, they're, well, they're, got, they're always a free kick. Have so. you worked on the tactic? We yourself? only play them round one and then we don't see them again. No, but if you... So. Oh, <laughs> Have you thought about using it yourself? Um, we haven't spoken about it, no. no. So, but I think we're in a bit of a copycat industry, we're so um, I think it might be a pre-season thing that'll come up next year and people might practice Off it. Off the top of your head, who do you think will win this game? Who do you think's playing better football? Oh, I think just solely because it's in Melbourne, I think yeah. Collingwood will win. Um, but they're not going to lose any games, I think, over in... Uh, in Perth, West Coast, um, and they'll play in the grand final because of that. Pendlebury been ruled out today? Yeah, mate, he's, uh, he's was a little bit behind on where they thought he'd be at this stage. So, um, Usually he is after you crack your bone in your leg and it's only been about 12 days. Yeah, well, he's a, he's a quick healer. So, <laughs> what, um, is a, what is a quick healer? Yeah. <laughs> got, got no idea. I think that's a, a nice medical term to try and get him back out there quick enough. But um, he did play out the, the rest of that yeah, half, so... I thought he was he was sweet, but um, having the week off last week, he did everything right, but just couldn't get up for for this week. So now Dane Swan can still play. He did uh, front the tribunal today, trying to beat his tripping charge, but uh, he wasn't able to do that. He can still he got the reprimand that sticks, and uh, he can still win the Brownlow medal, but uh, he couldn't get off that. Were you surprised he didn't get off? Who? Oh, I didn't even know he was contesting that, to be honest. Um, it looked like a trip to me, but <laughs> Sw Swanee's a different thinker, yeah. so <laughs> he, might have, he might have wanted to get out of the house tonight, so he thought he might go down the trolley <laughs> for a bit. There'd probably be better places <laughs> to head, I would have thought, on a Tuesday night. Now, Heath, I wanted to show you an incident and wonder whether you saw this on the weekend. Shane Edwards uh, was able to get off this. It's different to the one that you experienced, but um, it was contact with an umpire, and um, it's coming up here in just a moment. And we see, it's not, it's not forceful, but he was able to get off it with, because they interviewed the umpire, and the umpire said he couldn't really remember whether there was or not any contact. Now, I'm a bit confused by that because I would have thought that normally they just go by the vision, don't they? Oh. 
Paul yes, Anter, common sense got to prevail there. I mean, I know you'll, you just... What did you do? Show that again, I was looking at you, I missed it. <laughs> yeah, you see, that, that, that was, I think that was far more forceful. And that, that wasn't no, was. forceful at all, but the other one was just a brush. Come on, Heath, earn your money, what did you think? I gave a lot of money for that little... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, How much did that cost you? I think that was 1900 with an really? early guilty plea, yeah. So, what did um, you think of um, no the comment. other one? What no comment. Um, <laughs> no, it was, that looked like just a brush. Brush on the shoulder, he didn't... Emotional game. He wasn't as emotional as me at that no, point in time, so... Um, there's been a lot of past brought up here tonight. No, well, we brought up the present. We said, you're playing on the weekend. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> well, well, you tick all the boxes. <laughs> so, um, last word, Heath, if we've talked a lot about the past. What about the future? Premiership chance this year, Collingwood, compared to last couple of years? <laughs> Easy one. <laughs> <laughs> compared to um, last year, I think, I'd say we're progressively getting better as the year goes on. Um, last year we started off in a blaze of glory. We, our average winning margin the first sort of eight rounds was 60 points. Mm. Um, we're slowly building and I think we're in a better position going forward in a, obviously a worse position injury wise but um, hopefully those guys can get back the second half of the year and we can have a massive tilt.